what gives someone the edge? Questioned why successful people succeed? Or strive to find the secret to become the best person you know? Well, these questions share one answer, and that answer is the success mystery. Since the dawn of time, each and every brilliant, innovative, pioneering, popular, and rich individual has been privy to the success mystery. An easy to remember bite-sized piece of wisdom, which once you know, will guarantee success and a realization of dreams. Probably just a sentence of words that sum it up and spell it right out. Maybe only five words, but who knows, because it's the success mystery. Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Hugh Hefner, and Jaleel White all knew the success mystery. Tonight, the ugly stick will reveal the success mystery. Right here on the show, not yet, but soon. You'll need to stay tuned because who knows when it will be revealed, but who knows what it is? The success mystery. One thing is for sure, if you want to be rich, popular, famous, respected, or legendary, you'll need to know the success mystery. Revealed on the ugly stick tonight. Not now, but soon, really soon, just not quite yet. The success mystery. Hello and welcome to Arts Beat for yet another episode here in 2006. I'm your host Bob Dylan, not to be confused with the musical artist Bob Dylan, I am the painting artist Bob Dylan. There's a different spelling also. Now on today's show, we have got a terrific show. There's some terrific work that's going to be coming your way and I'm going to be popping out a bit of a landscape. I certainly hope I can teach you a thing or two, so why not come along and enjoy the ride? There might be some enjoyable things. To come and join us in the studio, why don't you say we get started? Just holding it steady, just holding it very steady. And just, you know, get as much onto the canvas as you wish. You know, really just have to let it fly. It's oh. fine, you get the best results. You're just it's coming along, isn't it? You can see it's coming along. Vince Peters, what have you become? Where are my cameras? Click, click, double click, pride and joy. I need help. I need help. Hello, D team. The D team. Hi. What? Who are you? I'm the D-Team. Who are you? Vince Peters, urban photographer. Who? What? Vince Peters. Vince Pe What? Vince Peters. Vince Peters? Urban photographer. Oh, uh, good. You're the guy. Sweet. It's pretty sweet. Disguise. What are you doing? Oh, I pretended to be your bathroom wall. It's so, like what I'll do, this is my photos. Okay. Like I take photos of people comfortable in their comfort zone, you know? Like some people they don't feel like they're comfortable day to day, so I put them back in their comfort zone. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. Guy talks a lot. L listen, 
The D team is here to help you. But what do you need us to do? Well, my, my business is still at a seedling form. I have my, I have my cameras repossessed by the government. And I, need, I need you to break into the government compound and break them out. You got some pretty sweet stuff in your house. Why don't you just like, sell some of it and buy new cameras? Well, because let's just say some of the photographs on those cameras are very personal images. Some very sensitive photos. Oh yeah. Be like this one. Yeah. Just like that. The D team. The D team. They're closed. What are you gonna do? It's time for the D team to go to work. Hi, it's me again. Who's this monkey? Divi McFly. What? I'm Divi McFly. Alright, oh, you got my cameras? Yeah. You got my cameras? What is that? That is not my camera. Max Sport. I'm Vince Peters. What is this? It's not my camera. You take that back. Yeah, I know. Why well, the government screwed you around again, Vince Peters? I broke into the compound to get your cameras, but they were gone. Here is my evidence. Uh. I am here inside the secret government compound, housing Vince Peters' cameras. I'll now break into the locker that contains them. They are gone. His cameras are gone. The government has screwed you again, Vince Peters. They've destroyed your cameras and your filthy, disgusting photos. No. Those bastards, they took my camera. Yeah. They took my camera. They screwed you around pretty bad. Yes. Well, what am I going to do? I don't have my cameras. I don't know. Anyway, I'll still need my standard. $10,000 consultation fee. You what? Yeah. You what? You $10,000? $10, I don't have 10000 squid. I don't even have my cameras. How am I going to do a thing? I don't know. What are you talking about? Get this out of here. Get out of here. I'll go. I'm Vince Peters. I'm an over photographer. I'm Vince Peters. Government stole me, Blake. What am I going to do? Oh, yeah, they're the terrorist hotline people. <laughs> yeah, I think I found a terrorist and he really hates the government. Has he got dark skin? Yeah, he's got dark skin. Does he talk funny? He wants me to pay 10,000 squid off his nuts. Yeah, he talks funny. Is there a reward for this? Yeah, sweet. I'm Damo. Alright, come get him. Alright, bye. I love it when a plan comes together. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Get that. Oh yeah, it's the man Day. on the desk. On the couch, on the couch. Yeah, Chase. Oh, no way. Oh, you're a dead funny oh, man. Man. Red. Yeah. Great mates. Great mates. Well. Muslims have been copping a lot of heat lately, haven't they? Jace, what do you think about Muslims? Mate, from the Muslims I've met, I reckon they're all pretty good blokes. Yeah, me too. Do you ever wonder what it might be like, though, if you and I were Muslims? <laughs> well, Dave, you know what? I have. And I think it might go a little bit like this. <laughs> Coach didn't believe it when I pulled out my pram out at half time last week. <laughs> pretty much forgot about it, though, when I scored five goals in the last quarter. <laughs> Nice one, mate. Hey, it's uh, Essendon Collingwood tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Bombers will smash him, I reckon. Allah willing. <laughs> oh, look out. Here comes a bloody infidel. <laughs> What's happening, Brett? Uh, you know, just praising the Lord for another beautiful day. Cheers, Jesus. 
I'll be great. Be great. <laughs> hey, uh, what are you guys doing later on tonight? You want to come around to my joint for a bit of a barbie? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm doing a leg of pork uh, on the old Weber. You guys like a bit of pork, don't you? A bit of pork, eh? Hey? Yeah? <laughs> hey, Brett, Dave and I tomorrow morning thought we might play a round of golf. You want to come? Oh, no. Nah. You'll be praising some false idol at the thing you like to call a church. <laughs> Fair enough. You got me there, guys. Good on you, mate. Oh, you guys crack me up, seriously. <laughs> Give us that here. Uh, Even Christians can play with the <laughs> You know what, mate? I reckon the whole Muslim thing might be pretty good. Except we'd have to give up alcohol. Sorry, what? Yeah, Muslims do not drink alcohol. What, not even rum and coke? No, <laughs> mate. Not even rum and coke. Oh, forget it then. I mean, I'm all for religious freedom, but my own personal beliefs involve worshipping with my good mates on a Saturday night at the church of a certain white bear. <laughs> Speaking of, must be our time for the evening mass, eh, hey, boys? Ooh. Too right. Get that in ya. Brett, count of the Holy Spirit? Too right, mate. Oof. Cheers. 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 Oof. Now that's what I call a religious experience. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> All right, Keith. Yeah. I looked around. I reckon this bloke over here might be worth asking. Yeah, cool. All right, let's do it. Mate, you look like you're gasping for it. Yeah, mate. Looks like you've been waiting here all day. Down the docks. Come on, mate. Speak up, will ya? Oh, mate, I can't hear you. What are you? Are you guys talking about? Talking about sex? What? Hey! I just I say it again, champ! What are you talking about? I just thought that's the way that. What are that, you talking that about? That is unbelievable! That is unbelievable! Oh, well, you, the way you just came over here, like you said I was I was gasping for it down the docks. It sounded like you thought I was some kind of a, a rent boy. Oh. Rent boy? <laughs> what? Fucking year do you think this is, mate? What? We were simply asking. We were simply asking if you want a joint for a meal at a Dockland restaurant. It's a Docklands! We're on holiday, me and my brother from oh, Great Britain. Just... We're wanting to have a nice meal. We thought you'd know a place, invite you along maybe, but I suppose we just end up fucking you silly at the dinner table. Right, Look, Keith? Did... Isn't that right? Oh, I yeah, did... that's right. All I'm thinking about is bugger. All the time, mate. Fuck you, mate! Look, I'm... I'm sorry. I know. Just... Hell. I feel like some chips, Keith. Oh, yeah. Maybe a bit of snapper. Fillet of broccoli. Alright. Let's keep our eyes peeled then, shall we? Yeah, right, you are. What does this guy want? What do you want, mate? What do you want? You want him? Oh, Bang him! Stop, 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 stop him, mate! Stop, stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Alright, Keith, let's go, Keith. Come on, Keith. <laughs> Real news. Newsreel. News. 
On tonight's Real News News Real News, other business found to be similar to show business. Man meets dream girl, then wakes up, she realizes he was asleep and ends the date, and inquiry finds mobile phones to be annoying. Also tonight, the Dalai Lama taps fingers impatiently during 30 second wait for those fries, and teacher's pigeonhole defies categorization. That's tonight on the only news service that gives you real news, real news, real news, news, real news. But first, real news in real pictures of news. Rothko canvas no longer defined as actual art. Photographic evidence of giant penguins adapted to human recreational pursuits and swimwear. And Steve Urkel tried for crimes to humanity, pleads, did I do that, your honor? A shock in Melbourne's inner east tonight with the news fine quality rug salesman Ali Farouk last month ordered the correct amount of stock, leaving no need for traditional liquidation sales expected later in the year. This is the first time any rug merchant worldwide has not absolutely overshot their import orders. The news has shocked and angered the owners of World for Rugs, where genuine Turkish woolen weaves start from a crazy low $129. Two days only. Hurry in. Okay guys, we've had a great poll on the website. We've got a wonderful boxing kangaroo over there. Brett's looking after it. And we wanted you guys at home to actually name it. Your choices were Ricky, Leighton or Gus. Who won over there, Brett? So many uh, votes tallied on, the, on the, uh, the website. But our great mate's kangaroo's name is going to be Leighton. So welcome aboard, mate. Good to have you here. Great stuff. Great stuff. Grab a tinny, mate. Hey, hey Leighton, what have you got to say about it? He's got a bit of a voice. Oh boy, look out for this guy. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Hey Leighton, what are you getting up to on the weekend? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I'm not going to let us show that. <laughs> Settle down, you've got a kid with you. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, mate? You want to sit on my lap? <laughs> Pardon me. Don't forget, if you ever want to improve your life and become rich, famous or respected, you'll have to watch tonight as the ugly stick reveals the success mystery. Not yet, but really, really soon. The success mystery. You cannot afford to miss this opportunity to climb above the rest of the world. And keep in mind, if you miss it, think of all the people who now have the edge on you. But rest assured, if you hear it on the show tonight, you'll still be guaranteed to be better than than anyone else, even those who see it on the show tonight also. It's the success mystery. Tonight on The Ugly Stick. Girl of my dreams. Carl, quit your dreaming. Girl of my dreams. You are so fine. Girl of my dreams. Divine. No, couldn't. Shirley. No, no, I shan't. I won't. Carl, no, I won't. Oh my God, you guys aren't going to believe this, but I am I'm a, a talent scout for an international flying disc company and you girls have got a way to go style. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, 
You've got fine action, both of you. I simply must recruit you both for my flying disc squad. Uh, I will train you, of course, and under my controlling palm, I will show you a floating divinity of sorts. Oh my god, are you serious? No. I've told a formidable lie, and while it was indeed white, I've shamed myself and the integrity and frisbee abilities of you fine ladies. I'm, I'm sorry. What funny. Sorry that I've been led by such a wayward boyish heart. Do you want to play frisbee with us? May the wild hyenas scavenge over my pride and the remains of my integrity be trampled by the springboks. Good day, ladies. Human compassion. Ooh, now that's a curly one. It seems hard enough these days to take care of yourself, let alone everyone else in this crazy old world. Places to go, people to see, and all those bills to pay. Just remember these wise, wise words. Don't say nothing at all unless you got something nice to say. I think you know what I mean. Until next time. And a success mystery is reach for the stars. Okay. They worked really perfectly, didn't they? Just, that was amazing. Yeah.